again, beloved and friends, to be here this night uh, to minister the word of God. God bless you richly, sincerely from my heart. Uh, I release a blessing upon your life tonight. Uh, for I always say, as Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Uh, isn't that great? Uh, isn't that mighty? Uh, isn't that majestic uh, that God himself promised uh, to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come thy dwelling. Welcome tonight. Let's give a big hand. God bless you, Richie, tonight. As I said sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon your life tonight. And I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Tonight, I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. God will bless you on the job. And whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a hand tonight. He is ready to receive all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks tonight. I cover everyone under the precious blood and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness tonight every spirit of witchcraft oh be a demonic forces evil blights generational curses i destroy under the precious blood of jesus for whom the son set free is free indeed you are free tonight in the mighty name of jesus Let's give him a big hand tonight Praise God, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed, you are healed, we are healed. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, healing belongs to the child of God tonight. Father God, tonight I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness, born out every pain, every disease, every infirmities, every evil and every work of darkness from this physical body. I pray as I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Tonight, beloved and friends, if you have your Bibles, let us turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 to 13. It clearly states, if you have your Bibles tonight, for what it says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of, of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. Yes, in high places tonight, beloved and friends, we have take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand withstand in the evil day and having done all beloved having done all to stand tonight stand spiritual warfare is real tonight it is real spiritual warfare is inventable tonight the Bible makes it very clear that believers are in a constant battle with unseen forces of darkness if you are a child of God tonight rest assured 
sure that Satan and his army know your name tonight and your address. There are multiple instances from scripture that assures us that the devil and his army knows who the true believers are. Yes, the devil knows exactly who Job, who Job was when the Lord God Almighty mentioned him in, in a conversation. The evil spirit said unto the sons, uh, sons of Sceva, Jesus says, I know, I know Paul and I know Jesus, but who are you? There is a real battle, my friends, in a real battle, a real spiritual battle between forces of good, good and evil. Today we are going to look at five signs that an individual is suffering a spiritual attack for a sign tonight, beloved and friends. Fear, fear is the first sign. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 clearly says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of, of, of power of love and of a sound mind tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible gives you different explanation to fear tonight. The first type of fear refers to a re re reverential honor that believers should have for God tonight. For instance, beloved, the psalmist, the king that and King Solomon made a reference to the fact that fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So this fear tonight means tonight, beloved and friends, to honor and reverence, reverent the Lord. Yes, but the second type of fear the Bible talks about is is the quote the spirit the spirit of fear speaks of fear fullness in Timothy. Yes, God has not given us a spirit of cowardice. Christians, believers are not cowards. It is a cowardice in the face of hostility. Tonight, beloved, allow me to re reveal Timothy's situation and what, why, and why exactly Paul was encouraging him to tell and telling him to resist the spirit of fear. Timothy was dealing with the spirit of an unknown tonight. He was dealing with the spirit, with the fear of the future, and did not include the guidance and leadership of his father in the faith. That's the Apostle Paul. The context surrounding this letter is that Paul wrote his letter to Timothy shortly before he was executed for preaching the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Yes, in Timothy, in, in Timothy had a lot of reasons to be fearful. The fear of losing his mentor the fear of ending up in prison like his like Paul the fear of receiving a death sentence as Paul did beloved and friends Timothy felt as if he had much to fear beloved and friends Paul writes to Timothy speaking the truth telling him that the fear he is experiencing is not from God therefore it, it must be resisted tonight it must be resisted. The spirit of fear is not from the Lord God Almighty. Therefore, it must be resisted. It must be treated like an enemy. Unfortunately, tonight, there are lots of Christian believers who are dealing with the spirit of fear. Just like Timothy, beloved and friends, dealing with the, the fear of tomorrow. Dealing with the fear of tomorrow. Dealing with the fear of the unknown. Dealing with the fear of uncertainty. And the are unable to take a single step towards unable to sleep at night beloved and friends under stress and under stress and pressure because of the spirit of fear how can I deal with the spirit of fear yes of my life force understand tonight that God has not given God, God has given the first step God has given you the, the Holy Spirit and he, he, he is the spirit of power and of love and of some mind is that awesome tonight if you are in, indeed filled with the Holy Spirit tonight beloved and friends you will experience power and dunamis. yes the Holy Spirit will embody believers to stand when you are saved God didn't give you a spirit of fear in Timothy and cowardice beloved God has placed the Holy Spirit in your life so that you can isolate yourself in the corners and live a 
soft, cuddle safe and secure life. Beloved and friends know the Holy Spirit of God is the spirit of power and of autonomous. The Holy Spirit, you are able to face the challenges of life. God doesn't shield us from all the challenges and situation of life. Rather, beloved and friends, God equips us to face and overcome those challenges the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit will give you the strength to stand when you can't stand the Holy Spirit will give you the strength to face the challenges of life without the Holy Spirit you are living alone beloved and friends yes thank the Lord Jesus Christ for dying for me but also thank the Holy Spirit for living within me he is a, is a comforter John chapter the 14 verse 15 tells us uh, the 14 to 15 through 18 if you love me keep my commandments uh, and he shall give you another comforter and that he may abide with you forever hallelujah praise God in, in it, uh, forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive tonight uh, because it seeth him not uh, neither know him but you know him for he dwelleth uh, with you and he shall be in you hallelujah you will not he, he will not leave you comfortless I will come to you Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit as quoted the comforter yes beloved the Greek word is a parallel parallelities which simply means call call alongside especially to help praise God one one who is with you is to strengthen you tonight fortify you the Latin word comfort it's also a rich word, a rich word tonight, beloved and friends, uh, which it means, uh, which means uh, with the foot, uh, which means strength or fortitude or to fortify. Sign number two, temptations, beloved and friends, we can learn from how Satan attacked Jesus with a series of temptations. Yes, in the wilderness, beloved and friends, yes, after Jesus concluded his prayer and fasting, the devil knows that Jesus was hungry so he confronted him with a temptation to turn the stones into bread when Jesus overcame that uh, that the devil tempted him the second time asking him to jump down a cliff yes and trust God to send angels to catch him beloved and friends the third time Satan tempted Jesus with the riches of this world and Jesus rebuked him yes Jesus rebuked him because Jesus Living, we live in a fallen world. Naturally, there will be temptations simply because we live in a fallen world, beloved and friends. However, scriptures reveal to us multiple instances where Satan directly attempts people, yes, people on earth, yes, there is nowhere in the Bible, beloved and friends, that say, that states that Satan has and his enemy sees their operation, yes, beloved and friends, I do believe there are two types of temptation, one, beloved and friends, a temptation from living in a fallen world, yes, and number two tonight, the temptation tonight that comes from an evil spirit, tonight yes about Eve and Jesus experienced a temptation beloved and friends an important lesson from the story tonight is that Satan is relentless. yes he will never get tired of tempting people to sin yes beloved the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness will not the final one the devil brought before him look at Luke chapter 4 verses 13 when the devil had finished tempting Jesus Yes, he left him until the next opportunity came. Focus on that last phrase tonight. Quote, he left him until the next opportunity. My friends, beloved, came while Jesus won this encounter. Luke reveals unto us, the reader, that the devil, the evil, was, was lurking until another opportunity presents itself. Notice how the devil was not afraid to tempt Jesus after 40 days and 40 nights of prayer and fasting beloved and friends so prayer and fasting will not stop the evil from tempting you the devil from tempting you but analyze jesus victory over temptation tonight 
We can overcome temptation with the word of the living God. Sign tree sleep, sleep paralysis tonight. Over the years in ministry, anyone that I have spoken to who has experienced sleep paralysis <coughs> expressed how up, 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 oppressive and how dark the experience was in many instances of the people who have experienced sleep paralysis they limit to seeing some kind of evil images or shadow characters characters during the ordeal somehow also identified they had entered an audio or visual hallucination that caused them distress during the process beloved and friends there is no direct bible verse tonight that speak about sleep paralysis due to the nature of experience of sleep paralysis i do believe that sleep paralysis can be identified as a spiritual attack I have also I've spoken to several people who have stated that their sleep paralysis episode ended as soon as they were able to call out the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! In the, in the gospel, several several instances of demonic attack involve clear physical symptoms, beloved. So it is possible that a demonic attack could result in symptoms resembling sleep paralysis, beloved and friends if you struggle with sleep paralysis tonight I want to encourage you to read passages of the scripture about Jesus Christ and sing songs of praise and worship about Jesus Christ if you remember this one teaching tonight it will change your life yes evil spirit are not afraid of you however they are afraid of the God sing songs about Jesus praise the Lord Jesus Christ read the word of God about Jesus and they will leave they will leave you beloved sign number four demonic attack demonic attack there are a range of demonic attacks we see in the Bible and we know that demons did not cease the work in the Bible they exist in our day and age I am not going to dwell on this sign because this sign is the most evident sign for instance beloved and friends people hearing people in their homes who are not there or hearing footsteps or furniture being moved all of these things are obvious that an evil spirit is involved and if you find yourself experiencing evil supernatural things yes i encourage you tonight uh, you once again to sing songs of praise and worship about jesus christ if you remember this one teaching tonight it will change your life evil spirits are not afraid of you however they are afraid of god sing songs about jesus beloved praise the lord jesus christ yes read read the word of God about Jesus and they will leave hallelujah praise God sign number five condemnation tonight Romans chapter 8 verses 1 to 2 tells us there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit yes for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death hallelujah condemnation is a strong and consistent feelings of guilt over the past sin sin is one of the most efficient weapon the devil uses against believers beloved and friends he, he exhumes your past records and confront you with us with the sin you commit some time ago if you do not know how to deal with this guilt the devil will sit on your head on your heart and will attempt to drive you away from God there are Christians beloved who are saved and they are truly saved but they have never experienced the peace of salvation hallelujah they always have the, these feelings that I am going to hell this is an experience thousands of believers battle with every day 
My friends and believers, or when a Christian sins, they began to avoid God and feel as though they are not good enough to pray and ask for forgiveness. Brothers and sisters tonight, even on your best day, yes, your righteousness is as filthy rags. Are you hearing me? First John chapter 1 verse 9. If, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive, forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness beloved and friends condemnation makes you feel you will go to hell satan will keep you whispering whispering into your heart hey you have done so and so god is not happy with you yes my friends can overcome this mess you go to hell satan will tell you any believer experiencing this will never be able to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Guilt, con guilty conscience will not help them to live a holy life. Either they will keep sinking in sin because they think God cannot forgive them anymore. There is nothing but a spiritual attack against your fellowship tonight with God. God does not tell you to run away or go aside to the corner when you sin, beloved. First John chapter 1 verse 9 tells us, if we confess our sins, he is faithful, faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Yes, beloved, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great and mighty tonight? Beloved, before I leave tonight, I want to tell you tonight that I know many are sick. Many are sick and in the hospitals. Many are sick and suffering with all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil. I know some of you, the doctors, have already given your family and relative a report that says that uh, you will not live, you will die, but the man of God is back here this Saturday night uh, to tell you that you will not die, but you will live, you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny, because God has not uh, finished with you as yet, uh, there is yet the work to be done in your life, uh, so tonight whatever you are sick unto death, uh, if the cancer is burning out your inside, if you have stage 4 cancer and the cancer is eaten out inside, God going to heal you tonight and if you're feeling a burning already God is burning out that sickness where are you watching from tonight if you're watching from the USA you're watching from the UK Canada the Caribbean or any part of this world tonight my friends is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for healing and deliverance tonight is your night for salvation yes praise God Jesus Christ is the healer of our soul and he is the healer of our body. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand tonight. I believe that my friends, according to medical doctors, Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back. His back was ripped and marred and scarred. Yes, my friends, there are 39 major sicknesses in the world today that is plaguing mankind and Jesus I believe Jesus Christ took a stripe for each one of those sicknesses that you can be free and strong and healthy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus let me go a little further God formed man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul to, to, to tonight my friends Hallelujah, the God who formed man out of dust. There is no big deal for him to heal you tonight. The man who designed this watcher knows every part. He knows, he knows how it's functioning, every part. And God who designed us know every bone, every marrow, every joint, every tissue, every organ, every part of your body. There is no big deal tonight for him to touch you and heal you, to give you a brand new heart, a brand new lungs, a brand new kidney, a brand new bladder. And tonight, my friends if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame tonight what is your sickness tonight what you're suffering tonight if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame tonight tonight is your night for a miracle if you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety tonight is your night for a miracle yes my friends and beloved 
if you have a migraine headache and you cannot function effectively on the job and you're scared that you will lose your job tonight god gonna touch you and heal you from that migraine headache if you have diabetes and you're pining away tonight skin and bone right now through the power of the holy spirit the anointing of god is rich in this place as i send for the anointing tonight i see already many are receiving the healing yes the person with diabetes God is setting your blood in order. You will not die, but you will live. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. He still has a work for you to do. Yes, my friends, those with arthritis pain in their joints, in their fingers, in their, on their knees, their elbows, their toe, whatever part of your body tonight. Tonight is your night for a miracle and healing tonight. If you have a mental sickness, and you're running crazy tonight. Yes, tonight God gonna touch your brains, heal you from that nervous breakdown, that nervous wreck. He's he gonna give you sanity and sound mind and a strong and healthy body. Right now, he's touching your brains in the name of Jesus. Those who are demon possessed tonight, and those demons are harassing you right now tonight. Yes, I command those evil spirits to go in the name of Jesus. Set me set free tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, God says in his words, We as preachers must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But God is not limited to that tonight. God is no respect of persons, there is no distance and barriers with prayer is concerned tonight so as i send for the anointing tonight wherever you're listening from the usa the uk canada the caribbean or any part of the world again wherever you are tonight god will touch you right now as i send for the anointing right now be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved. Many are delivered. Many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. It's the power of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, many are healed from all manner of sicknesses, from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety tonight, migraine, headache cancer, AIDS, COVID, diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, the person with a growth in the chest, the growth is gone tonight. Those demons are fleeing right now. You're free tonight. Make sure you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and be filled with the Holy Spirit. God bless you richly, beloved and friends. I love you very much in the love of God. Do have a sweet night, Tressa. I'll see you in the morning by the grace of God for the Sunday morning service. Do have a sweet night, Tressa. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God.